As I was going over the Cork and Kerry mountains, I met with Captain Farrell and his money he was counting. I first produced me pistol and I then produced me rapier. Saying, stand and deliver for you are the bull deceiver, mushering the do the money. Quack full of daddy ho, quack full of daddy ho, this whiskey and the jar. I counted out his money, it made a pretty penny. So I put it in my pocket and I took it home to Jenny. She sighed and she swore that she never would betray me. The devil take those women, for they never can be easy. Bushering them a do them a day. Quack full of daddy ho, quack full of daddy ho, there's whiskey in the jar. So I went into my chamber, all for to take a slumber. I dreamt the golden jewels, and sure it was no wonder. Now Jenny drew me charts, she filled up full of water, and she calls Captain Farrell to be ready at the slaughter. Mushering dum a doo dum a day. Quack full the daddy ho, quack full the daddy ho, this whiskey in the jar. Now it was early in the morning. Before I rose to travel, a pale band of footmen, likewise Captain Farrell, had never produced me pistols. She had stolen away me rapier, for I couldn't shoot the water, so a prisoner I was taken, ushering the madu the day. Quack full the daddy ho, quack full the daddy ho, this whiskey in the jar. Now if this anyone can help me, tis me brother in the army. If I can find a station down in Parker in Killarney, together we go roving on the fields of Kilkenny. Then no, we treat me better than my darling sport and jenny. For sure, ring dum a doo dum a day. Quack full the daddy ho, quack full the daddy ho, this whiskey in the jar. Sure, ring dum a doo dum a day. Quack full the daddy ho, quack full the daddy ho, this whiskey in the jar. Band. 
In a neat little town they call Belfast Not intending to stay very long Well I met with a frolic some times As she came a-trippin' along And a gold watch she pulled from his pockets And stuck it right into my hands And the very next thing that I knew, me boys I was taken by the black velvet band Here we go, her rise, they shone like the diamonds You'd swear she was queen of the land With her hair hung over her shoulders Tied up with a black velvet band So before the judge and the jury Next morning I had to appear And a gentleman claimed all his jewelry And the case against us was clear Seven long years penal servitude Fished out far away from the land Far away from my friends and relations Away from the black velvet band Everybody arise and shone like the diamonds You'd swear she was queen of the land With her hair hung over her shoulders Tied up with a black velvet band Lovely So come ye jolly young fellows Now a warning won't you take by me Then don't go drinking strong liquor Me boys in female company You be just wrong whiskey and porter Until you're not able to stand And the very next thing that you'll know, me boys, that you landed in Van Diemen's land. Her eyes, they shone like the diamonds. You'd swear she was queen of the land. With her hair hung over her shoulders, tied up with a black velvet band on your own. Her eyes, they shone like the diamonds. You'd swear she was queen of the land. Her hair hung over her shoulders. I have heard of Willie Brennan and the daring deeds he did. But one you may not know, there's an adventure that he hid. For the lake one day at Leary's Bridge he was waiting in the woods. And he chanced upon the pedal of on and robbed him of his good. Now the pedal being a traveling man with many goods for sale. Asked Willie for a token that would keep him out of jail. Just tell them you met Brennan, said Willie with a grin. I could never do, said the peddler, sure I know they turned me in. So he fired a shot with his blunderbuss through each side of his coat. And another through the hat he wore and the scarf around his throat. I can do no more, says Willie, if there's nothing left to shoot. Well, the peddler pulled his own gun then and took all the salutes. Bollock says, will he all and shock you're a better man, all right. Who would have thought that a peddler pulled the wool over Brennan's eye? I could use you as a partner, we would never be denied. Well, Langerman said, the peddler Vaughn, I'll stand right by your side. So Willie and the peddler joined forces that fine day, and they had themselves a grand old time out on the highway. They gave money to the tenants for to help them pay their rent, and they'd rob the landlords every night that along the road they went. Now that some say Willie Brennan by a woman who was betrayed, an informer for the English who agreed the price to pay. The truth is that those higher men, they pulled both one and all, on the buried in hill from near the old church wall. Me brother, Sylvester, he's got a row of 40 medals on his chest. He'll 50 batman in the west, he knows no rest. Pick of the man, hell's fire, don't 
octopus just shot. Plenty of room for you and me. He's got a arm, like a leg, and a fist that can sing a battleship. It took all the army and the navy to put the wind up still less. And he thought he'd take a trip to Italy, and he thought that he'd go by sea. He jumped off the harbor in New York, and he swam like a man made of cork. He saw the Lusitania in distress. He put the Lusitania on his chest. He drank all the water in the sea, and then walked all the way to Italy. He was my brother, Sylvester. He's got a row of 40 medals on his chest. He killed 50 bamboo in the West. He knows no rest. Bigger the man, hell's fire. Don't push, just shove. Plenty room for you and me. He's got an arm, like a leg, and a fist that can sink a battleship. It took all the army and the navy to put the wind up still west. Now he thought he'd take the trip to old Japan, and they turned out the whole brass band. They played every instrument they got, and like a lad, he played the whole lot. Now the old church bell will ring, and the old church choir will sing. They all turn out to say farewell to my big brother, Sylvester. He was me brother, Sylvester. He's got a row of 40 medals on his chest. He killed 50 bamboo in the West. He knows no rest. Bigger the man, hell's fire. Don't push, just shove. Plenty room for you and me. He's got an arm, like a leg, and a fist that can sink a battleship. It took all the army and the navy to the wind up, Sylvester.
in the year of our Lord, 1806, we set sail from the Colby's of Cork. We were sailing away with the cargo of bricks for the Grand City Hall in New York. We had an elegant craft, it was rigged for and out, and how the traders drove her. She had 23 masts, she stood several blasts, and they called her the Irish Rover. There was Barney McGee from the banks of the Lee. There was Hogan from County Tyrone. There was Johnny McGurk who was scared stiff to work. And your man from Westmead called Malone. There was Slugger O'Toole, he was drunk as a rule. And fighting Bill Tracy from Dover. And your man Nick McGann from the banks of the band was the skipper of the Irish Rover. Now we had one million bags of the best Lego rags. We had two million barrels of bones. We had three million bales of nanny goat's tails. We had four million barrels of stone. We had five million hogs and six million dogs and seven million barrels of porter. We had eight million sides of old blind horses' hides in the hold of the Irish Rover. Now we had sailed seven years when the measles broke out and the ship lost its way in a fog. And the whole of the crew was reduced down to two, just myself and the captain's old dog. And the ship hit a rock, oh lord, what a shock, and it nearly tumbled over. It turned nine times around and the poor old dog was drowned and the last on the Irish Rover. Scotsman clad in kilts left the bar one evening fair. 
and one could see by how he walked that he drunk more than his share. He wandered off until he could no longer find his feet, and he stumbled off into the grass to sleep beside the street. Ring them little little light, hey, ring them little yah ho. He stumbled off into the grass to sleep beside the street. Now about that time, two young and lovely lassies wandered by, and one says to the other with a twinkle in her eye, See on sleeping Scotsman so proud and handsome built. Well, I wonder if it's true what they don't wear beneath their kilt. Ring them little little lady, hey, ring them little yah I wonder if it's true what they don't wear beneath their kilt. So they crept up on the sleeping Scotsman, quiet as could be. They lifted up his kilt about a yard so they could see. And lo, behold, for them to see beneath his Scottish skirt, there was nothing more than God had graced him with upon his birth. Ring them diddle little lady, hey, ring them diddle yaho. There was nothing more than God had graced him with upon his birth. So they marveled for a moment, then one said, we must be gone. Let's leave a little something now before we move along. As a gift they left a blue silk ribbon tied into a bow. Around the bonny Scotsman star the kilted lip and show. Ring them diddle little lady, hey, ring them diddle yaho. Around the bonny Scotsman star the kilted lip and show. So the Scotsman woke to nature's call and he stumbled for the trees. Behind a bush he lifts his kilt and he gawks at what he sees. And in a startled voice he says to us beneath his eyes, Well, lad, I don't know where you've been, but I see you on first prize. Ring them diddle little lady, hey, ring them diddle yaho. Now, lad, I don't know where you've been, but I see you on first prize. Now, there once was a troop. A Scottish dragoons came marching down through Fife and a captain loved a lass, a fair bonny lass. Her name it was pretty Peggy O. So come down the stairs, pretty Peggy, my dear. Come down the stairs, pretty Peggy O. Come down the stairs, come back your yellow hair. Been a last farewell to your mommy. I never did intend a soldier's lady to be. I never will marry a soldier, oh. I never did intend to go to a foreign land. A soldier never will I marry, oh. So come down the stairs, pretty Peggy, my dear. Come down the stairs, pretty Peggy, oh. Come down the stairs, come back your yellow hair. Been a last farewell to your mommy. Now there's many a bonny lass in the house of our good lass. There's many a bonny lass in the dairy. There's many a bonny lass in the town of Aberdeen. But the fairest of all is here in Fife. So come down the stairs, pretty Peggy, my dear. Come down the stairs, pretty Peggy. Come down the stairs, come back to your hands. Been a last farewell to your mommy. Now the captain he said, Mount, Mount, boys, Mount. The colonel he said, We'll tarry, oh. We'll tarry for a while, for another day or two, to see if the bonny lass will tarry, oh. So come down the stairs, pretty Peggy, my dear. Come down the stairs, pretty Peggy, oh. Come down the stairs, come back your yellow hair. Bid a last farewell to your mommy, oh. Now green grows the grass in bonny Dunside, and low lie the lowlands of Fife. The captain's name was Ted, and he died for the maid. He died for the pretty maid of Fife. So come down the stairs, pretty Peggy, my dear. Come down the stairs, pretty Peggy. Come down the stairs, come back to your hairs. Till a last farewell to your mommy. It was down me Brannigan's Coronel one morning I ate astray. And I met a fellow rebel, and to me did say, I have orders from our captain to assemble at Stranlar, but how are we to get there without a motor car? 
Now, Barney dear, be of good cheer, I tell you what we'll do. The specials, they are plentiful, but the IRA are few. So we'll send the wire to Johnson to meet his extra large, and we'll give the boys a jolly good ride in Johnson's motor car. Now when Dr. Johnston heard the news, he soon put on his shoes. And he said, this is an urgent case, we have no time to lose. And he soon put on his cocker hat and on his breast to start. He could hear the din all through Glenfin of Johnson's motor car. But when he got to the railway bridge, the rebels, they were there. And Johnston knew the game was up, for at him they did stare. He said, I have a permit to travel near our bar. They said, to hell with your English permit. We want your motor car. Now what will the loyal brethren say when they hear the news? That my car has been commandeered by the rebels of the loose. She will give you a receipt for it, signed by Captain Barr. And when Ireland gets your freedom, you'll get your motor car. So they put the car in motion and they filled it to the brim. With rifles and with bayonets, so oh, Johnson, he looked grim. And Barney hung a Sinn Féin flag and thought it like a star. And they gave the boys a jolly good ride in Johnson's motor car. And they gave features for the IRA in Johnson's motor car. Dance with your partners while the floor your brothers shake. Wasn't it the truth? I told you lots of fun at Finnegan's Wake. Tim Finnegan lived in Walking Street, a gentleman Irish, mighty odd. He had a tongue both rich and sweet, and a rise in the world he carried a hut. That Tim was a sort of a skippling man, with the love of the liquor he was born. To have been with his work each day, to drop of the clay there every morn. A whack for the Dan, now dance your partners, while the floor your brothers shake. Wasn't it the truth I told you, lots of fun at Finnegan's Wake. One morning Tim fell rather full, his head felt heavy and it made him shake. He fell up the leather, cracked his skull, they carried him home, his corpse to wake. Well, they wrapped him up in a nice clean sheet and laid him out upon the bed with a bottle of whiskey at his feet and a barrel of porter at his head. Whack for the Dan, now dance your partners, but the floor your thunder shake. Wasn't it the truth? I told you lots of fun at Finnegan's Wake. His friends assembled at the wake and Mrs. Finnegan called for lunch. First they had the tea and cakes and pipes to pack on a whiskey punch. Then Biddy O'Brien began to cry, such a nice clean corpse have you ever seen? Tim, my morning white, did you die? Ara, shut you up, said Biddy McGee. Whack for the down, now dance your partners while well, the floor your thunders shake. Wasn't it the truth I told you? Lots of fun at Finnegan's Wake. Then Biddy McGrath took up the job. Now, Biddy, she says you're wrong, I'm sure. But Biddy hit the rebel to the gob and left her sprawling on the floor. And then the war did soon enrage, just woman to woman and man to man. She lay little lot it all engaged, and a row and eruption soon began. A whack for the down, now dance your partners, but the floor your feathers shake. Wasn't it the truth that told you lots of fun at Finnegan's Wake? So Mickey Maloney raised up his head, and a bottle of whiskey flew over him. Well, it missed him, landed on the bed, the liquor splattered all over Tim. Not be daddy revived, see how it's rise, and Timothy rising from the bed. Same for a little go around like crazy, and I'm do you think I'm dead? Whack for the down, now dance your partners, but the floor your brothers shake. Wasn't it the truth I told you, lots of fun at Finnegan's Wake? Two, three, four. Whack for the down, now dance your partners, but the floor your brothers shake. Wasn't it the truth I told you, lots of fun at Finnegan's Wake? Father's making Mary Mac, marry me. My father's making me marry Mary Mac. I'm gonna marry Mary, so Mary get the care of me. We love it, feeling Mary, wanna marry Mary Mac. 
Now there's a little girl and her name is Mary Maxwell. Make no mistake, she's a girl and on a track and a lot of other fellas wanna get up on her back, but I'm thinking that they'd have to get up early. The Mary Max father's making Mary Max marry me. I'm gonna marry Mary Max. I'm gonna marry Mary, so Mary can take care of me. We love feeling Mary wanna marry Mary Max. Now this little lass, she got a lot of class, she got a lot of brass, her father thinks of gas, I'd be a silly ass, but I'll let them out of pass, me father thinks treats me really fairly. So Mary Max, father's making Mary Max, marry me. My father's making me Mary Max, marry me. I'm going to marry Mary, so Mary can take care of me, we love feeling Mary when I marry Mary Max. Now Mary and her mother go an awful lot together, in fact, you hardly ever see the one with the other, and the people love and ask, it's Mary or the mother of the both of them together that I'm courting. So Mary Max, father's making Mary Max, marry me. My father's making me Mary Max. So Mary can take care of me, love feels Mary when I marry Mary Max. The wedding's on a Wednesday and everything's arranged. Soon a little change of mind, unless I'm going to change it and make any arrangements. I'm totally deranged, I'm married, just an awful undertaking. So Mary Max, father's making Mary Max marry me. My father's making me Mary Max. I'm going to marry Mary, so Mary can take care of me, love feels Mary when I marry Mary Max. Well, it's sure to be a grand affair, a grand and a pair. It's gonna be a coach pair for every bit of there. We'll dine upon the finest pair. I'm sure to have me share if I don't, I'll be very much mistaken. So Mary Max, father's making Mary Max marry me. My father's making me Mary Max. I'm gonna marry Mary, so Mary can take care of me. We'll all be married when I marry Mary Max. Yeah, Mary Max, father's making Mary Max marry me. My father's making me Mary Max. I'm gonna marry Mary, so Mary can take care of me. We'll all be married when I marry Mary Max. Mary, 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 Mary. Let me tell you all a story of a man named Charlie on this tragic and fateful day. He put ten cents in his pocket, kissed his wife and his family, went to work on the MTA. Did he ever return? No, he never returned. And his fate is still unlearned. Oh, yeah. He may ride forever and meet the streets of Boston. He's a man who never returned. Charlie handed in his dime at the Kendall Square station and he changed for Jamaica Plain. When he got up, the conductor said, one more nickel, Charlie couldn't get off that train. Did he ever return? No, he never returned. And his fate is still unlearned. Oh, yeah. He may ride forever neath the streets of Boston, he's a man who never returned. So all night long, Charlie rode through the tunnel, saying, what will become of me? How will I ever see my sister in Chelsea or my cousin back in Roxbury? Did he ever return? No, he never returned. And his fate is still unlearned. Oh, shit. He may ride forever neath the streets of Boston. He's a man, he never returned. All right, Bob. Charlie's wife goes down on the Kendall Square station every day at a quarter past two. And standing on the platform, she gives Charlie the finger as the train comes rolling through. Did he ever return? No, he never returned. And his fate is still unlearned. He may ride forever neath the streets of Boston. He's a man who never returned. Now, you citizens of Boston, don't you think it's a scandal that the people have to pay and pay? Like the fair and trees, jump over, pack Troy, and get Charlie up the MTA. Here we go. Did he ever return? No, he never returned. And his fate is still unlearned. He may ride forever in the streets of Boston. He's a man who never returned. One more time. Did he ever return? No, he never returned. And his fate is still unlearned.
really do appreciate the fact you're sitting here. Your voice sounds so wonderful, but your face don't look too clear. So, Bobby, bring a picture, another round of room. As I was going over the Cork and Kerry Mountains, I met with Captain Farrell and his money he was counting. I first produced me pistol and I then produced me rapier. Saying, stand and deliver for you are the bold deceiver, mushering dum a doo dum a day. Quack full of daddy ho, quack full of daddy ho, this whiskey in the jar. I counted out his money, it made a pretty penny. So I put it in my pocket and I took it home to Jenny. She sighed and she swore that she never would betray me. The devil take those women, for they never can be easy. Washering up a do a day. Quack full of daddy ho, quack full of daddy ho, there's whiskey in the jar. So I went into my chamber, all for to take a slumber. I dreamt the golden jewels, and sure it was no wonder. Now Jenny drew me charge, she filled up full of water, and she calls Captain Farrell to be ready at the slaughter. Mushering dum a doo dum a day. Quack full of daddy ho, quack full of daddy ho, there's whiskey in the jar. Now it was early in the morning. Before I rose to travel, up came a band of footmen, likewise Captain Farrell. I never produced me pistols, he had stolen away me rapier. But I couldn't shoot the water, so a prisoner I was taken, ushering dum a doo dum a day. Quack full the daddy ho, quack full the daddy ho, this whiskey in the jar. Now if there's anyone can help me, just me brother in the army. If I can find a station down in Parker in Killarney, together we go roving on the fields of Kilkenny. Then know we treat me better than my darling sport and jenny. Mushering dum a doo dum a day. Quack full the daddy ho, quack full the daddy ho, this whiskey in the jar. Mushering dum a doo dum a day. Quack full the daddy ho, quack full the daddy ho, this whiskey in the jar. Protestant was he, 
my mother was a Catholic girl from County Cork, was she? They were married in two churches, lived happily in love. Until the day that I was born, when things got rather tough. Now it is the greatest mix-up that you have ever seen. But father, he was orange, and my mother, she was green. Baptized by Father Riley, I was rushed away by car To be made a little orangeman, my father shining star I was christened David Anthony, but still in spite of that To my father I was William, while my mother called me Pat Now it is the greatest mix-up that you have ever seen My father he was orange, and my mother she was green with mother every Sunday to mass at Prairie Stroll. Then after that, the orange lodge would try to save me soul. For both my trade to play me, but I was smart because I'd play the flute to play the harp, depending where I was. Now it is the greatest mix-up that you have ever seen. My father, he was orange, and my mother, she was green. One day my mother's relations came north to visit me Just as my father's kinfolk were all sitting down to tea We tried to smooth things over, but they got into a fight And me, me strictly neutral, I bashed everyone in sight Now it is the greatest mix-up that you have ever seen My father, he was orange, and my mother, she was green now my parents never could agree about me type of school. My learning was all done at home, that's why I'm such a fool. They both passed on, God rest them, but left the God between. That awful color problem of the orange and the green. Now it is the greatest mix-up that you have ever seen. My father, he was orange, and my mother, she was green. Yes, it is the greatest mix-up that you have ever seen. My father, he was orange, and my mother, she was green. And the dare indeed she did. But one you may not. 
not known as an adventure that he hit. But late one day at Leary's Bridge he was waiting in the woods, and he chanced upon the pedal of and robbed him of his good. Now the peddler being a traveller with many goods for sale, asked Willie for a token that would keep him out of jail. Just tell him you met Brennan, said Willie with a grin. I should never do, said the peddler, sure I know they turned me in. So he fired a shot with his blunderbuss through his side of his coat, and another through the hat he wore and the scarf around his throat. I can do no more, says Willie, as I've nothing left to shoot. Well, the peddler pulled his own gun then and took all the easy loot. Oh, bollock, says Willie, all in shock, you're a better man, all right. Who would have thought that a peddler pulled the wool over Brennan's eye? I could use you as a partner, we would never be denied. Well, Langerman said the peddler on, I'll stand right by your side. So Willie and the peddler joined forces that fine day, and they had themselves a grand old time out on the highway. They gave money to the tenants for to help them pay the rent, and they'd rob the landlords every night as along the road they went. Now the some say Willie Brennan by a woman who was betrayed, an informer for the English who agreed the price to pay. The truth is that those hired men, they pulled both one and all, and they're buried in Kilcrumpa near the old church wall. And it caused him pain 
He said, stand back, I'm gonna make you afraid. He said, hey, brother Noah, I tell you what you do. Go build you a floating zoo. And you take the green alligator and the longer geese, the humpy back camels and the chimpanzees, the cats and rats and elephants, but sure as you're born, the loveliest of them all was the unicorn. And Noah was there, and he answered the call. And he finished building the ark as the rain started falling. And he marched in the animals two by two. And he called out as they went through. Hey, Lord, I got the green alligators and the long neckies. Humpy back camels and the chimpanzees. The cats and rats and elephants, but sure as you're born, I just can't find a unicorn. And Noah looked out through the driving rain, and the unicorns were hiding, playing silly games. They were kicking and a splashing in the misty morning. Oh, them silly unicorns! But there were green alligators and the long neckies, the humpy back camels and the chimpanzees, the cats and rats and elephants. But sure as you're born, the loveliest of them all was the unicorn. Now the ark started lifting, and it drifted with the tide. And the unicorns looked up from the rocks, and they cried. And the water came up, sort of floated them away. And that's why you'll never see a unicorn today. But there were green alligators and the long neckies. Humpy back camels and the chimpanzees. Cats and rats and elephants, but sure as you're born. The loveliest of them all was the unicorn. There were green alligators and the long Camels and the chimpanzees, the cats and rats and elephants, but sure as you're born, the loveliest of them all was the unicorn. In the year of our Lord, 1806, we set sail from the coves of Cork. We were sailing away with the cargo of bricks for the grand city hall in New York. Great and elegant crafts, it was rigged for and at, and how the traders drove her. She had 23 masts, she stood several blasts, and they called her the Irish Rover. There was Barney McGee from the banks of the Lee. There was Hogan from County Jerome. There was Johnny McGurk, who was scared stiff to work. And your man from Westmead called Malone. There was Slugger too. he was drunk as a rule. And fighting Bill Tracy from Dover. And your man, Nick McGann, from the banks of the band, was a skipper of the Irish Rover. Now we have one million bags of the best Lego rags. We have two million barrels of bones. We have three million bales of nanny goat's tails. We have four million barrels of stone. We have five million hogs and six million jugs and seven million barrels of porter. We have eight million sides of old blind horses' hides in the hold of the Irish Rover. Now we had sailed seven years when the measles broke out and the ship lost its way in a fog. And the whole of the crew was reduced down to two, just myself and the captain's old dog. And the ship hit a rock, oh lord, what a shock, and it nearly tumbled over. It turned nine times around and the poor old dog was drowned and the last on the Irish Rover.
I've been the wild rover for many a year. I spent all my money on whiskey and beer. And now I'm returning with gold and great stone. And I never will play the wild rover no more in the snow. They never, no ning never no more will I play the wild rover. No, never. into an alehouse that I used to frequent. I told the landlady that my money was spent. I asked her for credit and she answered me nay. Such a custom as yours I can have any day and it's no, nay, never. No, nay, never, no more will I play the wild rover. No, never. I took out of my pocket and saw her in bright. And the landlady's eyes opened wide with delight. She said I had a whiskey and wine's all the best. But the words that I told her were only in jest. And it's no, nay, never. No, nay, never, no more. Will I play the wild roller? No, never. to my parents and that's what I've done and I'll ask them to pardon the prodigal son and when they caress me as often before so I never will play the wild rover no more and it's no nay never no nay never no more will I play the wild rover no never no more one last time and it's no nay never Scotsman clad in kilt left the bar one evening fair, and one could see by how he walked that he drunk more than his share. He wandered off until he could no longer find his feet, and he stumbled off into the grass to sleep beside the street. Ring them little little light, hey, ring them little ho. He stumbled off into the grass to sleep beside the street. Now about that time, two young and lovely lassies wandered by, and one says to the other with a twinkle in her eye. See on sleeping Scotsman so proud and handsome built. Well, I wonder if it's true what they don't wear beneath their kilt. Ring them little little lady, hey, ring them little ho. I wonder if it's true what they don't wear beneath their kilt. So they crept up on the sleeping Scotsman, quiet as could be. They lifted up his kilt about a yard so they could see. And lo, behold, for them to see beneath his Scottish skirt, there was nothing more than God had graced him with upon his birth. Ring them diddle little lady, hey, ring them diddle ya ho. There was nothing more than God had graced him with upon his birth. So they marveled for a moment, then one said, we must be gone. Let's leave a little something now before we move along. As a gift they left a blue silk ribbon tied into a bow. Around the bonny Scotsman star the kilted lift and show. Ring them diddle little lady, hey, ring them diddle ya ho. Around the bonny Scotsman star the kilted lift and show. So the Scotsman woke to nature's call and he stumbled for the trees. Behind a bush he lifts his kilt and he gawks at what he sees. And in a startled voice he says to us beneath his eyes, Oh lad, I don't know where you've been, but I see you on first prize. Ring them diddle little lady, hey, ring them diddle ya ho. Now lad, I don't know where you've been, but I see you on first prize. Now there once was a troop of Scottish dragoons. Came marching down through Fightfield, and a captain loved a lass, a fair bonny lass. Her name it was pretty Peggy O. So come down the stairs, pretty Peggy, my dear. Come down the stairs, pretty Peggy O. Come down the stairs, come back your yellow hair. Been a lass, farewell to your mommy. I never did intend a soldier lady to be. I never will marry a soldier, oh. I never did intend to go to a foreign land. A soldier never will I marry, oh. So 
Come down the stairs, pretty Peggy, my dear. Come down the stairs, pretty Peggy, oh. Come down the stairs, come back your yellow hair. Bit a last farewell to your mommy, oh. Now there's many a bonny lass in the house of our glass. There's many a bonny lass in the dairy, oh. There's many a bonny lass in the town of Aberdeen. Come down the stairs, pretty Peggy, my dear. Come down the stairs, pretty Peggy, oh. Come down the stairs, go back to your hands. Then I'll ask farewell to your mommy, oh. Now the captain, he said, monk, monk's boys, monk. The colonel, he said, we'll tarry, oh. We'll tarry for a while, for another day or two. To see if the funny lass will tarry. Come down the stairs, pretty Peggy, my dear. Come down the stairs, pretty Peggy, oh. Come down the stairs, come back your yellow hair. Bid a last farewell to your mommy, oh. Now green grows the grass in Bonnie Dunn's side. And low lie the lowlands of Bite oh. The captain's name was Ted, and he died for the name. For the pretty maid of life, be So come down the stairs, pretty Peggy, my dear. Come down the stairs, pretty Peggy. Come down the stairs, come back to your head. Then I'll ask farewell to your mommy. It was down me Brannigan's Cardinal one morning I ate astray. Then met a fellow rebel, and to me did say, I have orders from our captain to assemble at Stranlar, but how are we to get there without a motor car? Now, Barney dear, be up to cheer, I tell you what we'll do. The specials, they are plentiful, but the IRA are few. So we'll send the wire to Johnson to meet us at Strandlar, and we'll give the boys a jolly good ride in Johnson's motor car. Now when Dr. Johnston heard the news, he soon put on his shoes, and he said, this is an urgent case, we have no time to lose. And he soon put on his cocker hat and on his breast to star. He could feel the din all through Glenfin of Johnson's motor car. But when he got to the railway bridge, the rebels, they were there. And Johnston knew the game was up, for Adam, they did stare. He said, I have a permit to travel near up far. They said, to hell with your English permit, we want your motor car. Now what will the loyal brethren say when they hear the news? That my car has been commandeered by the rebels of the loose. She will give you a receipt for it, signed by Captain Barr. And when Ireland gets your freedom, you'll get your motor car. So they put the car in motion, and they filled it to the brim. With rifles and with bayonets, oh, Johnson, he looked grim. And Barney hung a Sinn Féin flag and brother like a star. And they gave the boys a jolly good ride in Johnson's motor car. And they gave three cheers for the IRA in Johnson's motor car. Dancing your partners while the floor your father's shake. Wasn't it the truth? I told you lots of fun at Finnegan's Wake. Tim Finnegan lived in Walking Street, a gentleman Irish, mighty odd. He had a tongue both rich and sweet, and a rise in the world he carried a hot. That Tim was just sort of a skippling man with a love of the liquor he was born. Stepping with his work each day to drum with their crather every morn. A whack for the Dan, now dance your partners while the floor your father's shake. Wasn't it the truth I told you? Lots of fun at Finnegan's Wake. One morning Tim fell rather full, his head felt heavy and it made him shake. He fell up a leather, cracked his skull, they carried him home, his corpse to wake. 
Well, they wrapped him up in a nice clean sheet and laid him out upon the bed with a bottle of whiskey at his feet and a barrel of porter at his head. Frank for the Dan out as your partners, but the boy your father shake. Question if the truth they told you, lots of fun at Finnegan's Wake. His friends assembled at the wig, and Mrs. Finnegan called for lunch. First to her, the tea and cakes and pipes to pack on a whiskey punch. Then Biddy O'Brien began to cry, such a nice clean corpse have you ever seen? Jim the morning white, did you die? Or a shut you up, said Biddy McGee. Whack for the down, I'll dance your partners while the boy your father's shake. What's the news, the truth that told you? Lots of fun at Finnegan's wake. Then Biddy McGrath took up the job. Now, Biddy, she says you're wrong, I'm sure. But Biddy hit the rebel to the gob and left her sprawling on the floor. And then the ward is soon raised. It's woman to woman and man to man. She lay little lot it all engaged. And a row and eruption soon began. A whack for the down out. Dance your partners, well, the floor, you're at Father's sick. Boston is the truth that told you lots of fun at Finnegan's Wake. So Mickey Maloney raised up his head, and a bottle of whiskey flew over him. Well, it missed, landed on the bed, the liquor splattered all over Tim. That be daddy revived, see how it's rise, and Timothy rising from the bed. Seems for the look around like crazy, and I'm duel, you think I'm dead? Quack for the down, now dance your partners, well, the boy, your brother's sick. What's in it, the truth I told you, lots of fun, a fitting is quick. Now, Mary Mac's father's making Mary Mac, marry me. My father's making me marry Mary Mac. I'm gonna marry Mary, so Mary gets to carry me. We love it, feeling Mary, wanna marry Mary Mac. Now there's a little girl and her name is Mary Mac. Well, make no mistake, she's a girl I'm gonna track and a lot of other fellas wanna get up on her back but I'm thinking that they'd have to get up early. So Mary Mac's father's making Mary Mac, marry me. My father's making me marry Mary Mac. I'm gonna marry Mary, so Mary gonna carry me. We love feeling Mary, wanna marry Mary Mac. Now this little lass, she got a lot of class, she got a lot of brass, the father thinks of cats, I'd be a silly ass, but I'll let them out of pass, my father thinks he treats me really fairly. So Mary Mac's father's making Mary Mac, marry me. My father's making me marry Mary Mac. I'm going to marry Mary, so Mary can take care of me, we love feeling Mary when I marry Mary Mac. Now Mary and her mother go an awful lot together, in fact you hardly ever see the one without the other, and the people I'm going to ask, it's Mary or the mother of the both of them together that I'm courting. So Mary Max father's making Mary Max marry me. My father's making me marry Mary Max. I'm going to marry Mary, so Mary can take care of me, we love feeling Mary when I marry Mary Max. The wedding's on a Wednesday and everything's arranged, soon a little change of mind, unless I'm going to change it and make a new arrangement, I'm totally to arrange, our marriage is an awful undertaking. So Mary Max father's making Mary Max marry me. My father's making me marry Mary Max. Mary can take care of me, we love you, Mary, when I marry Mary Mac. Well, it's sure to be a grand affair, and grand on affair, it's gonna be a coach pair for every brother there, we'll dine upon the finest pair, I'm sure to be sure, but I don't be very much mistaken. So Mary Mac's father's making Mary Mac, marry me. My father's making me marry Mary Mac. I'm gonna marry Mary, so Mary can take care of me, we love you, Mary, when I marry Mary Mac. Yeah, Mary Mac's father's making Mary Mac, marry me. My father's making me marry Mary Mac. I'm gonna marry Mary, so Mary can take care of me, we love you, Mary, when I marry Mary Mac. Let me tell you all a story of a man named Charlie on this tragic and fateful day. He put ten cents in his pocket, kissed his wife and his family, went to work on the MGA. Did he ever return? No, never returned. And his fate is still unlearned. Oh, yeah. He may ride forever and meet the streets of Boston. He's a man who never returned. Charlie handed in his dime at the Kendall Square station and he changed for Jamaica Plain. When he got up, the conductor said, one more nickel, Charlie couldn't get off that train. Did he ever return? No, he never returned. And his fate is still unlearned. Oh, yeah. He may ride forever and the streets of Boston. He's a man who never returned. 
to all night long Charlie Rose through the tunnel sing What will become of me? How will I ever see my sister in Chelsea Or my cousin back in Roxbury? Did he ever return? No, he never returned. And his fate is still unlocked He may ride forever Neath the streets of Boston He's a man who never returned All right, Bob. Charlie's wife goes down on the Kendall Square station every day at a quarter past two. And standing on the platform, she gives Charlie the finger as the train comes rolling through. Did he ever return? No, he never returned. And his fate is still unlearned. Oh, he may ride forever neath the streets of Boston. He's a man who never returned. Now, you citizens of Boston, don't you think it's a scandal that the people have to pay and pay? Like the fair and free stamp over, Pat Troy and get Charlie up the MTA. Here we go. Did he ever return? No, he never returned. And his fate is still unlearned. He may ride forever in the streets of Boston. He's a man who never returned. One more time. Did he ever return? No, he never returned. And his fate is still unlearned. As I was going over the Cork and Kerry mountains, I met with Captain Farrell and his money he was counting. I first produced me pistol and I then produced me rapier. Sing, stand and deliver, for you are the bold deceiver. Mushering, dum a doo dum a day. Quack full the daddy ho, quack full the daddy ho, this whiskey and the jar. 
I counted out his money, it made a pretty penny. So I put it in my pocket and I took it home to Jenny. She sighed and she swore that she never would betray me. The devil take those women, for they never can be easy. Wash your ring, dum a doo dum a day. Frank full of Daddy Hill, Frank full of Daddy Hill, there's whiskey in the jar. So I went into my chamber, all for to take a slumber. I jumped the golden jewels, and sure it was no wonder. Now Jenny drew me charts, she filled them full of water, and she calls Captain Farrell to be ready at the slaughter. Mushering, dum a doo dum a day. Back full of Daddy Ho, back full of Daddy Ho, this whiskey in the jar. Now it was early in the morning. Before I rose to travel, a pale man, a footman, and likewise Captain Farrell. I never juiced me pistols, she had stolen away me rapier. But I couldn't shoot the water, so a prisoner I was taken. Mushering, dum a doo dum a day. Back full of daddy ho, back full of daddy ho, this whiskey in the jar. Now if there's anyone can help me, tis me brother in the army. If I can find a station down in Parker in Kalani, together we go roving on the fields of Kilkenny. Then no, we treat me better than my darling sport and Jenny. Mushering, dum a doo dum a day. Quack full of daddy ho, quack full of daddy ho, this whiskey in the jar. Mushering, dum a doo dum a day. Quack full of daddy ho, quack full of daddy ho, this whiskey in the jar. Stuck it right into my hands. 
And the very next thing that I knew, me boys, I was taken by the black velvet sun. Here we go, her eyes, they shone like the diamonds. You'd swear she was queen of the land. With the hair hung over her shoulders, tied up with a black velvet band. So before the judge and the jury, next morning I had to appear. And a gentleman claimed all his jewelry, and the case against us was clear. Seven long years penal servitude, based out far away from the land. Far away from my friends and relations, away from the black velvet bell. Everybody arrives, it shone like the diamonds. You'd swear she was queen of the land. With her hair hung over her shoulders, tied up with a black velvet band. Lovely. So come, ye jolly young fellows, now a warning won't you take by me. And don't go drinking strong liquor, me boys, in female company. You be just wrong whiskeys and porter until you're not able to stand. And the very next thing that you'll know, me boys, that you landed in Van Diemen's land. Her eyes, they shone like the diamonds. You'd swear she was queen of the land. With her hair hung over her shoulders, tied up with a black velvet band on your own. Her eyes, they shone like the diamonds. You'd swear she was queen of the land. With her hair hung over her shoulders, tied up with a black velvet band. Tied up with a black velvet band. Sea. 
He jumped off the harbor in New York, and he swam like a man made of cork. He saw the Lusitania in distress. He put the Lusitania on his chest. He drank all the water in the sea, and then walked all the way to Italy. He was me brother, Sylvester. He's got a row of 40 medals on his chest. He killed 50 bamboo in the West. He knows no rest. Bigger the man, hell's fire. Don't push, just shove. Plenty room for you and me. He's got an arm, like a leg, and a fist that can sink a battleship. It took all the army and the navy to put the wind up still west. Now he thought he'd take the trip to old Japan and they turn out the whole brass band. They played every instrument they got and like a lad he played the whole lot. Now the old church bells will ring and the old church choir will sing. They all turn out to say farewell to my big brother Sylvest. He was me brother Sylvest. He's got a row of 40 medals on his chest. He killed 50 baron in the west. He knows no rest. Big of the man, hell's fire. Don't push, just show plenty of roof, you and me. He's got an arm, like a leg, and a fist that can sink a battleship. It took all the army and the navy to the wind of Sylvest. There were green alligators and the long neckies, humpy back camels and those chimpanzees, the cats and rats and elephants, but sure as you're born, the loveliest of them all was the unicorn. Now a long time ago, when the earth was green, there were more kinds of animals than you'd ever seen, and they ran around free as the earth has been born. And the loveliest of them all was the unicorn. There were green alligators and the long neckies, humpy back camels and the chimpanzees, the cats and rats and elephants, but sure as you're born, the loveliest of them all was the unicorn. But the Lord seen some sinning and it caused him pain. He said, stand back, I'm gonna make you rain. He said, hey, brother Noah, I tell you what you do. Go build you a floating zoo. And you take the green alligator and the long neckies, the humpy back camels and the chimpanzees, the cats and rats and elephants, but sure as you're born, the loveliest of them all was the unicorn. Not Noah was there, and he answered the call. And he finished building the ark as the rain started falling. And he marched in the animals two by two. And he called out as they went through. Hey, Lord, I got the green alligators and the long neckies. Humpy back camels and the chimpanzees. The cats and rats and elephants, but sure as you're born, I just can't find a unicorn. Now Noah looked out through the driving rain, and the unicorns were hiding, playing silly games. They were kicking and splashing in the misty morning, oh, them silly unicorns. But there were green alligators and the long neckies, the humpy back camels and the chimpanzees, the cats and rats and elephants, but sure as you're born, the loveliest of them all was the unicorn. Now the ox started lifting, and it drifted with the tide. And the unicorns looked up from the rocks, and they cried. And the water came up, sort of floated them away. That's why you'll never see a unicorn today. But there were green alligators and the long neckies. Humpy back cowboys and the chimpanzees. Cats and rats and elephants, but sure as you're born. The loveliest of them all was the unicorn. There were green alligators and the long Camels and the chimpanzees, the cats and rats and elephants, but sure as you're born, the loveliest of them all was the unicorn. Now in the year of our Lord, 1806, we set sail from the Kogis of Cork. We were sailing away with the cargo of bricks for the Grand City Hall in New York. We 
trade and elegant crafts, it was Rick for her out. And how the traders drove her, she had twenty-three masts. She stood several blasts, and they called her the Irish Rover. There was Barney McGee from the banks of the Lee. There was Hogan from County Tyrone. There was Johnny McGurk, who was scared, stepped to work, and your man from Westmead called Malone. There was Slugger O'Toole, he was drunk as a rule, and fighting Bill Tracy from Dover. And your man, Nick McGann, from the banks of the band, was the skipper of the Irish Rover. Now we have one million bags of the best Lego rags. We have two million barrels of bone. We have three million bales of nanny goat's tails. We have four million barrels of stone. We have five million hogs and six million jugs and seven million barrels of porter. We have eight million sides of old blind horses hides in the hold of the Irish Rover. Now we had sailed seven years when the measles broke out and the ship lost its way in a fog. And the whole of the crew was reduced down to two, just myself and the captain's old dog. And the ship hit a rock, oh lord, what a shock, and it nearly tumbled over. It turned nine times around and the poor old dog was drowned, and the last on the Irish Rover. 